Take your finger off the trigger for 72 hours. That's the push from community activists tonight to stop Baltimore's rising murder rate. A weekend ceasefire is in effect right now. WJZ is live. Kimberly Eaton with this latest effort to curb the record violence in the city. Kimberly? And Jessica, the ceasefire started this morning at midnight. It ends the same time on Sunday. And the goal is simple nobody kill anybody for a weekend. Taped on doors, tucked behind window screens, signs with bold letters delivering an even bolder message. Take your finger off the trigger. Some people who say, you know, I don't think it's going to work. Somebody's going to shoot somebody across town. And then I say, okay, well, don't worry about across town. This is about you. Are you saying that you can't keep this three block radius safe? With the murder rate ticking toward an unwanted record, activist Erica Bridgeford is calling for a citywide ceasefire. It started Friday morning and ends Sunday night. The goal? Go 72 hours without bloodshed on Baltimore streets. Gang leaders have called us to say that the people they're responsible for are going to chill this weekend and just celebrate life. Hitting pause in a crime scene taped city, where the murder count for 2017 already stands at 208. We had the audacity to imagine what life would look like if we could get through a weekend with no violence at all. We're not asking you to make Baltimore City safe. We're asking you to keep what is within the realm of your control safe. Armed with posters, daunted by loss, they've delivered that message door to door. And now it's time to watch the clock. You have a choice. You have power. I know you're tired just like I'm tired. Nobody loses more people to the streets than the people who are in the streets. And this year, Baltimore is averaging about a murder a day. But so far, 17 hours in, the ceasefire has been successful. Reporting live in Baltimore, I'm Kimberly in WJZ Eyewitness News. Let's hope it stays that way. Kimberly, thank you. There are anti-violence events planned all weekend. For information, go to CBSBaltimore.com.